Things are dying. Ah, oh, it's so awesome. So I'm, I'm alright with that, but I don't know. I don't know. It seems like it's a, it's a good way to lose a round when you have advantage. Unless you uh, do it right. Okay, so we're live here. AG playing a marathon of TF2, and I'm betting they had warm-up scrims before, so they're rooted in their computer chairs, wipe the sweat off their brows. They're going to be on the red side, and the tryhards are going to be on the blue side. At some point, Alpha, you're going to have to explain to me what their tag is for the tryhards. I don't know, but Dummy is actually going to go down first, and maybe the rust here for the tryhards as they get triple killed right away in dust does go down. We still have Boomer um, alive. He is the last one, and he's at 30 health, and he is getting out of dodge. Indus does go down, but I think second point also will go down for AG. Nice first mid for them. Yeah, really well played there, especially by Boink, who's already sneaking his way towards the second point. Um, getting that cap time there for them, and both mechs did go down, but I think AG should be able to capture this fourth point for free. That would be a pretty good time. I had to set it for... Uh... Uh, a crit switch. KBK, though, both medics are going to be sitting with regular. Um, Clockwork is going to get Boink pushing a little bit too aggressively. Uh -oh. And actually, a second's going to go down. Sweater is dead, so uh, no demo being able to hold this fight. I don't know. Dummy is feeling pretty saucy, man. He's pushing up with the rest of his team, and I think uh, they're going to pressure the second point. Here comes the bomb from Rando, though. He gets pushed back right away. Nice counter bomb by Try, and there goes two AG back out, so they're not going to get wiped here. Um, and now they're back in mid. Yeah, a little bit uh, too aggressive from them there, and really nice play by Tryhards to get that back. Uh, looks like Tri's in a bit of trouble. He's on the gun though. He's just fine, back enough to grab that health pack. Things are sort of evening out once Boink. again, and that's with a slight advantage. And oh, the bomb comes in from Boink. He does take down Whoa. KBK. For sweater yeah. to grab him. No, a sweater hit a pipe over as well. I don't know if it was a roller or a pipe. I think KBK dropped Uber there, or either that or he was very close to having it. Clockwork goes down trying to 1v6, but um, he uh, did get the force out, but no counter Uber. Obviously, KBK be dead. Blaze does pick up Kapow, but uh, Dummy, really the last hope right now to turn this fight around. He is upper. He's got a trap set up somewhere. Uh, might be able to catch uh, Demo, but no. Uh, AG's just going to go left right around a sticky trap, and they're going to be in at last here. Spawn's not in yet. Three seconds for Blaze and Try, although Boomer just destroys Rando at last, and that's going to stall out the push, although AG are going to have an advantage here, pushing last, and they're building with the scout, so they want their Uber ASAP. Yeah, Clockwork's on Sniper here um, now, moving up that left side, he's looking for an angle, he knows he's got to get something here, because Indus is going to have huge advantage over KBK, heading towards last. Kapow goes down, and actually looks like the Tryhards want to push out on this, Boomer goes down to Squid, out in the yard, but Boink is coming back as a heavy to try and stop this, looks like he can't get there in time though, and Tryhards are going to get that second point down. Wow, okay, well the Tryhards... Um, very aggressive there. Here comes the Uber though. KBK might be caught out. He's definitely dead. Now the question is, can they keep uh, Indust alive? Can AG keep them alive uh, after this fight's over? Second again is going to go down, but can they get momentum into last here? Uh, two down, including Blaze. So Demo is up. There they go. AG is going to push right in like that play. Dummy did get a nice dead off. Did about 250 damage uh, to Rando as he needs to be healed up right away. Still no heals up for the tryhards. Pressure on the point. Boomer goes down. Here come the respawns though. Three go down in a row. Points Heavy is gonna mow down the final two. KBK the last to die in AG. Wow. Well, hello. They win their first round. 1-0. Yeah, Tryhards had a really good push out of last, but uh, I think KBK might have miscalculated how much uber advantage AG had after all, and then they just came in back in and leapfrogged that one. Really nicely played there by AG. Like it a lot. Um, okay, so we're going to see mid-fight number two here. Will the Tryhards warm up, or AG have their number here? Uh, okay. They won a lot of fights in a row there. Um, scrappiness by the Tryhards kept them in that round, recapping second a few times. I don't know. Boink is doing a big time roller play and actually comp comboing with Sweater and company to take KBK and Dummy down right away. Now Blue needs to make a play. They're going to find the medic in the kitchen, but Indus is going to surf away. He'll be fine, and there's a wipe. Indus alive. AG, man. I don't know. They look really oh. good. Yeah, I'm this getting the nerd chills. I mean, yeah. this is going to be a really good invite season if AG takes this match. I called it earlier, like, one of the mid... The, well, I know, I mean, AG, man, they're really good. They've impressed me every week, so this is not out of the realm of possibility, but the tryhards are undefeated. So this would be quite the upset. Chance to get the second round. Clockwork is going to try to stop this, though. He's Sniper. I don't know where he is, but he's going to try to take this Uber away. He's scoped up on the top right. Do you pop early, or do you run the risk of dropping us here to Clockwork? Not sure. The push has not even come in yet. I'm watching Clockwork's screen right now, see if he's got... Oh, they're going to push in top left and pop right away smartly. And uh, Kapow does go down to the dummy trap. And I think 
Uh, the tryhards have a good shot at uh, holding this dummy with a second onto Boink. Pressure up the middle though, AG trying to rush the point, but look at the frags going down. Only Squid remains and he cannot kill KBK, although he got very close. KBK in the teens of health and that was a big brick. Uber versus no Uber and not even close. That's an incredible hold there when you think about it. Tryhards didn't even lose their medic, like now KBK has huge advantage getting ready to push into mid. They're taking Dummy and his team uh, down that left side here. It looks like they're just waiting a little bit longer. They're going to switch over towards the right, towards the saw, like give him a little bit better of a push. Uh, and looks like Sweater is moving over there to address that. Yeah, um, a lot of pressure saw room. Basically the entire team for the tryhards are in saw. They're going in. Huge advantage. Uh, Uber will be popped, entering into mid here, and Squid goes down. Look at the distance coverage by Blue. Whoa, all over AG. Indus, though, does get into cheese. Uh, but, man, uh, the Blue guys, <clears throat> they are not stopping, Slim. They are pushing in, and they forced AG back basically the entire map with that push. That is how you push, man. They're going to get second right away. Clockwork doesn't even give a damn, he's like already on the last point there, <laughs> a little bit too aggressive, Squid takes him down right away, but uh, yeah, he was just pushing up so aggressively off of that mid, just literally just holding down W and pushing across the enemy team. Yeah, man, that's like a snowplow action, just shoved them back, and actually Indus has caught some stickies here, he's very low, and I think he's gonna have to commit here, he does have his soldier, uh, Rando will live, I thought might die, getting overextended and actually gonna fall back, KBK is gonna have Uber here in a bit, so we're not even gonna see that leapfrog action from AG, they're back, Kapow sniping, and uh, now they're gonna hold last, something that we saw a little bit of uh, towards the end of the last game, so at least they have uh, practice here. Yeah, this is a really good round though for tryhards to try to turn that momentum around. I mean, looks like AG was uh, you know, taking this match away with them, but uh, now tryhards are the verge of uh, evening it up. Well, um, AG's got a good hold, and Clockwork is going to go down. I think he might be sacrificing to go sniper. Blaze in trouble, though he's got a stick that makes him go a million miles an hour, so he will just jet away, and it'll be fine. Um, scout pressure trying to move up here. Poke Boink goes for a bomb on the second point here. He's actually just dancing around. He came out the lower end. He's all over oh. the medic now. Two rockets on him, and he's gonna wow. force the Uber from KBK. Great play there from Boink out where of the lower the... end, and that's gonna allow uh, Tryhard to just sit back on last. Or sorry, AG to sit back on last. Okay, but where is the team? How does the medic end up taking three rockets by himself? That's crazy. Okay, well, huge, huge play by by Boink. Um, has been a very impressive roamer this season. Also streams from time to time, you can catch him. Um, and now I think AG has to push out. They're gonna wait for Boink to come up to have a fair six on six fight. Um, no more sniper, so they're gonna fight with combat classes. They've gotten in pretty deep. Rando is gonna fight off try here, but no. Oh, he gets dropped by Indus back cap right now. Is it a spy? No, it's a blaze. Oh, how did he, oh, oh. What? They got the drop down? I guess. I missed that too. I was watching a scout battle underneath, yeah. but uh. Whoa, that's a, that's thought, a heartbreaker there for AG. That is... They took a lot of time getting into second, and I don't think that fight was going to go in their favor anyway. Um, they lost Rando. Uh, Indus did not get the pop off in time onto him. But Blaze, uh, oh, I'm sure Truck Truck caught it, and we're just the worst, and Truck Truck's the best. So there you go. Uh, I'm just going to assume that. But okay, so we're tied up one to one here, mid fight number three. We'll see if AG can continue being very strong here. Blaze goes down early and look at KBK is just getting destroyed down to Rando. Inda's still alive. There's pressure from both Scout Soldier. Actually the second Scout as well, but I think Red can deal with this. Maybe he's gonna back up. Ooh, wow. Actually Clockwork is flanking around now, so he's gonna try to kill in this saw room here. Hello! Flanking Scout, but Squid Reactionary Meat Shot hit an 80 damage shot to save his medic's life. Indus somehow dances away from that mid. It does have um, full uber advantage, but of course tryhards get mid. A little disappointed with that blaze bomb at the beginning. He went down so early, and I was watching Squitter the entire time. He did so much damage on that mid, but a little bit unfortunate for him to go down at the end of that. Still in dust with an 80% uber advantage, getting in those respawners for his team. It looks like they want to push uh, saw room. That's what we've been seeing from these invite teams. They like to go that right side, gets them a little bit closer to the point. And uh, Dummy, though, has a trap there in the saw room and is spamming that left side. Looks like AG going down the low, though. Uh, they actually want to push out of the kitchen here, Seabear. Yeah, Try, by the way, is running gumboats, as we've seen a lot out of his team. Kind of pocketing Dummy with the double gumboat soldier. Nothing wrong with that, because gumboats are the best. Oh. Indusno drops Uber! Tim stick trap you called out earlier. Oh, what patience by Dummy. I think he waited for someone else to cross by. Uber down yet again. Oh, man. Oh, I feel for Indus. He's played well, but... Oh, drops. Yeah, and now uh, Kapow is just trying to clean up as best he can, but he's going to go down here easily after taking down Blaze. And uh, Tryhards are able to hold on to mid. Huge advantage for them. They're actually moving their way towards second point already, and they should be able to get this capture uh, at least most of the way down. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's genuine shit talk coming out from Clockwork or if it's just gentle ribbing. I sorry, it's, it's impossible to tell, but um, definitely a brutal way. Uh, AG had a nice entry. I got in without popping, but there's the bomb coming in from uh, Rando. Tried to force KBK, but he surfed the rocket and got out. Now pocket down. Definite push point right now because KBK has his. Just gonna gather up the team and they're gonna go up top right and just head straight in. There you go. Pop is in. Flashing away. Heavy up. Uh, boink with a Santa hat on. Trying to do all he can, but he is now dead. And uh, all of red funneled into the back right on their perspective. It's going to be tough for them to work their way out. And I believe blue is just going to walk on the point. And why wouldn't they? Heavy just slowly <laughs> rambles onto the point. And there you go. Try hard. It's not hard at all to push. When you have a heavy, just kind of just heal him. Let him kill everybody. Yeah, literally just walked him across down low. He literally just held down right click that entire time. And uh, yeah, Tryhards bringing back uh, and actually yeah, taking the lead. So up 2-1 now. Dummy screwing up his rollout on that right side there. And it's going to allow Sweater to once again get to mid quicker. Uh, let's see if AG can actually execute and take this mid. We'll see. Um, Blaze has definitely gotten out roamed at these mids so far by Boink, who's just had... Um... A lot of big plays on the various mids here. No one dead as of yet. Try will be the first to the rando bomb. Boink doesn't get a whole lot done here. Important scout fight on the AG, or I'm sorry, the uh, tryhard side. Actually, AG's got the best of this right now. Only KBK and Blaze remain, and they're not out. They're not safe quite yet. Blaze is trying to keep his medic alive. KBK is full, so I think he'll be okay, but huge pressure being applied by AG. Already won the mid, and, and they're on their horses. Blaze is going to try to take the pressure off, and he does successfully, as we are going to get a pause. Um, Blaze is going to allow KBK to be safe, so KBK should get Uber. He has a Santa hat of his own and pretty stylish sunglasses, man, I have to say. AG, though, they're winning mid, but they just need to win a round. Like, they need to, to get a last push off. Yeah, um, but they're on the verge of, you know, evening this one out here. Uh, I think AG should be able to capture the second point, and KBK, 25% away, should be able to get this Uber in time. But uh, you see AG now just stacking the point here. They're going to allow KBK to get that Uber and sort of reset and do that last push the way they want it to. By the way, R5 uh, got beat by Solus 5-0 today. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's the other invite game that we're not casting. I think there are four. Casted three of them because we're awesome. Not sure what happened there, but um, that's kind of an upset, so congratulations. I think that's second win for Solus in invite this season. I casted them the other day, thought they looked pretty good, so um, good for them to get a win there. My, my guy Zalox on the board. Uh, Heavy is out defending. Blaze has got uh, Max's hat. There comes big aggression by Boink, and <laughs> welcome to the land of Heavy. Uh, actually, both soldiers going in for a suicide play, and Blaze, you know what? He doesn't need to switch back to soldier, because he's Heavy. He's got 450, and uh, there goes the tryhard trying to re-push here. Um, the force attempt failed there, Slim. It, it, actually, that double, or sorry, try on gumbo is actually going to work out for them as Blaze is on heavy. And it uh, looks like they're just pushing across that right side there, holding out the saw room. The pop is going to come in though from Indus to block the point here. A Sweater picking up a kill on the try. They get, oh wow, nice one on the dummy as well. Skapow sneaking around underneath. He's going for last though. Can he get it in time? He's trying to get the point, but the cap is going to go down Whoa. for tryhards on the second point, just barely in time there. And it's still four on three. AG, oh no, and they're losing players here now as Boyk is trying his best to defend as a heavy, but he's going to go down. He loses his medic in the process. And KBK and Boomer are trying to clean up Kapow here, just down to 16 health. Can they finish oh him off? Kapow dancing Kapow. around. Kapow. Can he get, he gets the pick on the KBK? Are you kidding? Oh, Boomer with a head scratcher. Could not find a home for the most erratic gun in TF2 history, the pistol. Firing like straight sideways out of your gun. Like, please shoot him with one pistol bullet. Oh my god. Ugh. Wow, okay, so um, that's a huge, huge play by Kapow. Gonna even this out. Uh, give Indust a building advantage here at 25%, so... Pretty crazy fight there. Wow, the back cap was so close. Yeah, really close. But they just didn't have enough numbers to stop that one, and Boink on the heavy wasn't enough to just sit there and then you know, block it took too much damage. And uh, now things are sort of evening out once again, and Dust with a 30% advantage. Is he on Kritzkrieg? I'm clicking around furiously. No, he is not. He's just chilling on mid. Yeah. Uh, but he somehow built himself into a 30% advantage out of well, nowhere. He was, he was alive while the medic was still respawning. And um, yeah, I think they realize they have this advantage right now. Um, Indus, though, can't feel too comfortable with his Uber. If I'm him, I'm popping like a million years early. Oh, man, oh, he, he doesn't Rando, get to though. Yeah, Rando, I think that's on him. Went a little bit too far. Um, but that's huge, of course. Though Squid got a bit of that Uber and took down Dummy, which might help hold mid. Um, but of course, Tryhard's all over this mid uh, right now. They're going to try to get in. Although, uh, ooh, Boink is <laughs> gonna try to stuff him back in that doorway, he will not. And yeah, I was gonna say AG might be able to hold, but not after losing another soldier. 
Rando is back in, but uh, he's by himself. And I do believe, yes, Tryhard's retake mid. So again, AG, the big advantage in a round, just kind of uh, losing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, confused about the scouts in this match thus far. You see Kapow 14 points, Squitter 38, and uh, Kapow isn't quite having the same match that he had last time. And on the other side, Clockwork isn't as dominant as I would thought that he would be in this match. So yeah, Uber's gonna come in. Yeah, that's true. Uber being popped in here, it's not getting a lot done, though they will cap second point right behind it. That's kind of what you just need to do. Um, we've seen AG really struggle to gain that second point. Uber versus no Uber, but um, really no mistake there. Try hard, just pushed right in. Although Indust has his ready to go. Question is, are they going to use the full advantage and push back out? Um, there's no miscommunication there. Rando looked like he might want to go under, but uh, his medic... Uh, uh, gonna catch up to him up top left now from their defending perspective, and I believe Rando's gonna get a Rando Uber where he just takes it in all the way, and yeah, pretty sure that's gonna happen. You're still in there, pushed back in on second point here. Got it. Props to Indus, man. He's dropped two huge Ubers in the last like 20 minutes, but he held that pretty long in there. Um, yeah, sniper shot yeah. or a sticky trap. I'd be pretty scared, man. <laughs> Well, uh, this might be a successful leapfrog here for the tryhards as uh, Dummy is pushing his way in. He gets that pick on the boink. He's gonna make it five on five, and here comes the Uber now. KBK popping in, flashing a lot of people, and uh, yeah, Dummy's gonna come in and get another one there on the sweater. So without their demo man and their uh, roaming soldier, I don't think AG can hold on to the second point. They definitely can't. Maybe not even the last here, as uh, it looks like tryhards want to keep moving it. Squid no. gonna go down to Dummy who yeah. gets a three kill on, on the upper lobby there. Yeah, I saw both Red Scouts were trapped behind. One got in, and the other, the, the trailer got hit by the sticky. Squid's like, no, go without me. I'll be okay. He wasn't even dead. Um, actually, no, that's going to be a really hard hole. I'll say the Heavy's going to do quite a bit there. Indus swinging the saw madly, but that's your first half. Tryhards went down early and actually been completely outplayed at mid so far by AG. But uh, that is first half. Look at the dominations. Boomer did let his medic die, but uh, he racked up three, as you can still see as they switch colors there. So uh, the tryhards look good. Um, alpha. Maybe just time to warm up. Actually, they're just going to go right into the second half here. But real quick, is there anything that you saw in that first half that we missed? Um, I just noticed their scouts, the tryhard scouts. Yeah. They started working like really well together. They were cleaning up frags together. So that's what that's what's really winning fights right now. Yeah, I think that's true. Um, we've kind of noticed the clockwork not having is like crazy game that we've seen, but um, playing a, a better team game as usual, not just running in by himself as sometimes clockwork does, because when you're the best and you just hit the meat every time, he can kind of do that. Uh, all right. We're at the first mid, mid fight of the second half, up 3-1 are the red guys now. Boink goes down. Uh, they kind of baited out Boink's jump and caught him out from the rest of his team. Kapow goes down as well, so uh, more passive mid paying off big time for the tryhards. They have just crushed AG here. Uh, Rando's trying to help his medic out. Though Squid flanked while I was watching the red combo. Uh, I'm sorry, I was watching the blue combo, but Squid again with a huge play, though. Indus, woo! Oh, no. Nice dodge by him, though. He got out. I thought he was dead to the aggressive soldier, although he's not safe quite yet. Rando gets chopped down by clockwork. I didn't yeah, Blaze see the... completely whiffed that. I mean, he should have had that, but Indus was just ducking and weaving. And... It was a surf, oh, man. I think, that, I think that was a good play by Indus as well. Like, I think it was a whiff a little bit, but Indus did get out. So it's good, I think. I don't know. Yeah, going back to that last mid, I was uh, following Alpha's recommendation, and Dummy just completely destroyed it, like every single sticky and his pipes, and uh, really allowed his team to, you know, push across easily with the damage advantage. So it uh, looks like now they're on the fourth point. KBK at a disadvantage here, and AG looks like they want to push out. They're looking to move through the Z. Squitter hiding in the drop down, taking a rocket there, and it looks like AG are just slowly walking the way across. Kapow goes down to a trap from Dummy. Blaze picks up another one on the sweater, and this looks like a really bad situation now for AG, who haven't quite come oh. just yet. Now it does pop the Uber. Blaze picks up two, and I don't know if AG can do anything here, uh, they've completely backed themselves <laughs> off and then Dust is going to walk God. Rando, it's like he loses drop, the, the Uber goes off and he just gets jumped by everybody, like five guys just swarm him, beat him right away. There was an air shot hit on the try, but that's a little too late and the tryhards absolutely dominate that round and they're going to go up four to one, so um, definitely becoming the more one-sided match that we thought. AG had nothing on that mid-fight. Dummy and company just putting out way too much damage. And I got to watch Boink at this mid. His bomb, he ended up kind of going in by himself here. So we definitely need to see better timing between him and Rando and uh, aggressive scouts. If he's going to jump, he needs some follow-up. 
Um, and we'll see here. Look at though, Blaze is doing the fastest rollout possible for Romer. He's gonna get in deep, do quite a bit of damage, and Dummy's gonna clean that up onto both Demo and Pocket. Two very high priority picks. Squid can't work his mid magic this time. KBK still alive, and the tryhards might just win the game here. They do have their medics still alive, does AG, and he's back at last. But um KBK is still alive, Slin, so they're gonna have an Uber versus Uber push, and I believe second's just gonna go. Oh my god, just the, the scouts and demo for uh, Tri are absolutely on fire now. Tri goes down in the upper lobby to Boink, and it looks like AG are trying to make their way out here, but no, they decide better of it. They don't want to lose the match quite yet, and they're going to... Uh, uh, I guess they're going for it, I guess. I don't really know, Seabear. Yeah, I think... Um... I mean, at this point, you played so much, you might not... This is definitely not the right decision. I'll say that as soon as, like, a, like a rando kills everybody, and I look like an idiot, but um, they haven't pushed out with advantage. They're going to now... Um, not losing this fight as of yet. Blaze goes down. Cap point pressure to Sweater, but he's going to be fighting two scouts by himself here in a second. Um, here comes the medic firing arrows back in. Actually, Tim was behind, I think. Uh, well, pff, there goes Clockwork getting a double up top left, although a nice triple kill, so big plays coming in left and right, but 3v3 situation. 3v2 situation now as Squid just chops down Dummy onto the medic, but KBK catches up with Blaze. Okay, I, I can't wrong. believe that worked. Yeah, I mean, it actually work. worked. Like, AG just yeah. went out for this push, even 5-on-5 five five Ubers, I, and uh, it worked. I knew as soon as I said it, Slim, like, oh, it was a bad idea. It's like, this is definitely going to work. It was a bad idea. <laughs> I don't even know how it worked. I, I'm, I'm in shock right now. Whatever. Thanks, AG. Jerks. <laughs> making me look like an idiot. Um... Where we stand right now, Uber advantage, so big, big win. Um, I'm not sure if Indust and company are going to play it. Uh, they are down three rounds in the second half, so um, they definitely need to keep momentum pushing. Um, really can't sit back too much. But, well, they have uh, this huge see. advantage here that they've been building up, and now... Well, they uh, have it. Well, they needed to be going, like, two seconds ago. Yeah, that's one and, thing I know about Indust, yeah. though. He always likes to build up that Uber, and uh, I don't think they knew that they had the big advantage that they had, so they just decided to chill out, and that's probably the wise decision here. You know, you're down three rounds, uh, match point now for Tryhards, as they pick up a kill on a rando in the saw. Looks like uh, AG want to go with his Uber anyways, and I think this is a bit of a miscalculation here. Uh, they're down a player, the Uber is better for Tryhards now, and Dummy, oh, oh Squid just comes in and picks him up. Yeah, well, Slyn, you said it this time. Maybe it'll come true. I definitely think that was a mistake as well, so I'll put my hat in that ring. And here comes the bombs now. Heavy pressure coming out of the right attacking side for Red. Um, only one scout trying to deny two. He's fighting underneath is Kapow. Uh, kind of methodical push, actually. Not even really committed. They switched off to the left side with the medic. Big bomb coming in from Try. Um, Boomer does go down, but trades off with the Roamer. And Try's actually pretty low right now. Gets finished by the Kapow pistol, but point pressure is going down. KBK, though, only at 42% Uber. And uh, he's going to back out. And actually, I think AG's going to get the best of this, and probably, again, making us look dumb again. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's uh, on the back of Square though, he just keeps picking up kills. Yeah, uh, Rando got another one there on a dummy, and actually now with the Tryhards 3 down, KBK is just backing himself out of out of mid here, so it's just going to give all the presence for AG all over the point here now. Sweater just sticking out that right side. Squid, a little bit too aggressive, goes down to try, but AG still got that captured down. 4 on 4, and Dust with a 30% advantage, getting ready to push into second point. Yeah, and um, I get well, KBK has not done a good job building this Uber. It's taking forever. He's only at 80%. Finally, he's going to force a scout to hurt himself with the boss and basher. So he'll actually have his Uber in time uh, for this push. AG again. You know, they had a great chance if they were aggressive to push and have maybe a 20% advantage, but here they go, they're going to pop. Um, tried to actually catch out Try, but there's the counter Uber. KBK gets his just in time, and there go AG's flank. AG, uh, sorry, Kapow goes down along with Boink, and uh, they're going to get caught out here. Rando goes down. Squid's trying to put on the hero cape. Oh, man, there goes Indust at 5 health, gets killed. Sweater is still alive somewhere. It's actually got a beat on KBK. He needs to hit a pipe. Does! That'll uh, help, but that's a wipe. KBK going down will stall some momentum, but um, Tryhards win that fight convincingly. Yeah, and you know, uh, it does have a huge advantage there on that push, and he brought players in with it, but by the time he did, it was even Uber, so that Uber was really bad for AG, and Tryhards now recapture mid Dummy. easily. Five on three now, there's some players in the forward spawn there. I think that's uh, Rando trying to distract for his team. Dummy's got stickies on the door, though. That second point is going to go down easily, and uh, this could be it now for AG. This soldier's like, just doesn't get it. Wants dummy to waste all the stickies, like, and open the door now. Oh no, there's stickies there, and open the door now. There's stickies there. There's no cabinet in that second spawn for regen. But he did back spawn, um, and tryhards turn that fight completely on its head and take two points. Um, the mark of a very strong team. You win a fight and you um, you just don't stop and you take the second point, something that makes up the stun um, for the last couple seasons, and uh, HRG, of course, does as well. And just, once they have point, the advantage, like, checking what, uh, 
what Uber KBK was on. He was on Spy there and like pulling really? out a sapper to check what kind of Uber is. Yeah, yeah. And uh, looks like Indust though with a pretty large advantage. It looks like Boink. Uh, not really gonna do anything from the drop down. I was looking at the wrong soldier there. I thought he was going for a bomb. I'm on the wrong side here. Nice coordinated spam by Try and company. Actually, don't take down the gun. Some clutch wrench swinging and Try goes down to the double bomb for both soldiers. So, uh, one pocket down. I don't know if AG's gonna go. I kind of think they should, uh, but that's their hard carry down squid to many uh, little happy faces being spammed by Blaze. So, I don't. I didn't see the kill if it was really funny or something, but... Um, it was three binds worthy, whatever happened. <laughs> it looks like Squid down, and maybe Tryhards might push this, but Squid's up in just five seconds here, so looks like they're just gonna chill it out, and uh, Clockwork tries something underneath and gets taken down by Rando. Uh, yeah, things are just gonna even out once again, and maybe AG actually exploring the upper. Boink goes for that underneath bomb, and Boomer's all over him there, down to 50 health, and Boink picks up that kill, and that's gonna put Tryhards 2 down now, as AG moving their way through the top right upper lobby. Pa Uber is popped in, looks like Dummy goes down there, they're trying to force the Uber now from KBK, finally a late pop there, but they're down so many players, and with the Devilman down as well, I don't think this is that good for Tryhards, looks like, oh, oh. my god, the yeah, but you never, that's the clockwork factor, he's just gonna run in and make a play, and now we're actually both teams are 4v4, but no medic, no heals for AG, this could be game right now, gun is being upgraded as we speak, it's down low, um, I think it's gonna have to do quite a bit, well the gun, I actually got switched off of the NG area, but uh, Tim is gonna try to kill the gun down, the NG's like, no, my gun, uh, but in time, spawns will come in for AG, they've held for now, but big uber advantage for KBK, and actually Dummy was in at last, gets picked off as well, so AG might just push no stickies to worry about. Um, yeah, looks like Boyd goes for that bomb onto KBK, hits a rocket, hits a second oh, one, KBK man. goes down, Clockwork finishes him off there, but it's not going to be uh, enough, and now here comes AG now with the heals, pushing themselves out, AS Sweater takes down Tri behind the train, Scout's lower, and looks like Rando gets that kill as well, Squitter now trying to defend against a Scout, that's Clockwork with his pistol out there, trying to finish off, and Dust down at just oh. 21 health, but doesn't get it to go, Squid, AMP dummy, on the dummy! Point. Oh my lord! Dummy with four! Make it four! He got the pipe! Whoa! That was awesome! I watched that whole thing. He snuck in behind, hit every piece of ammo that he had in both guns, medic, and plus three. That might be your game. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. Um, and look, tryhards all over last. A G in the end. Get beasted by the golden boy himself. Fill it up, chat. I want to see a, a stream full of Tims. GG tryhards. Wow. The first pred I got right in like years. You got that <laughs> right. Nice. We both got one tonight. It's pretty good. Uh, All right. Really well. well played by tryhards. I mean, that first round goes to AG, but tryhards looked dominant the rest of the time. And uh, that's that's really a heartbreaker for AG, who go down to just uh, three and four as their record. And uh, a tough night for them. Uh, we saw some really interesting soldier play though tonight. I mean, from the yeah. tryhards, double gunboats, and then from uh, Mad Men, you know, Memphis Vaughn brings back the shotgun rumor. So, uh, some pretty interesting things that we saw tonight on Snakewater, but uh, regardless, AG had a tough night. Yeah, I'm messaging them right now. We haven't done an interview yet, so um, I actually just sent a message to Tim, see if he wants to come in and gloat after frag video material there. Uh, I just got word that the Blackhawks also won. Didn't know that. Thank you, Groundbreaker. I don't know why you think I care, but. Cuz kind of do. Um, looking at Zestets, Dummy has many damage points. Holy moly. And actually, um, that double gumboat style has led to basically even damage between Blaze and Try. Now, Try went 8 and 16 with, like, no points. Look at the points. That's very odd to me. That's really the thing that leaps out on first blush. Yeah, but I think uh, Clockwork and Boomer just pick up all of those frags. Um, let's turn it over to our, our analyst, Alpha. Alpha, what do you think of that match? Um, I thought, like, AG was kind of, you know, starting playing well the first half, and then Tryhard's just like, uh, we're actually good at this game, we're going to kill everyone, so that's what they did. Yeah. Um... And Dami and Clockwork just, man, just from another world. Pretty good, man. Um, okay, I'm trying to get them the info right now. Sorry, guys, I had to type. Push the talks on the mouse, can't type, so stay tuned. We're going to get an interview. I think Clockwork just poked his head in the mumble and then left, so I don't know who's going to come. At least Dummy um, will be coming in, and um, I don't know if we're going to interview the Mad Men Slint or not. I mean, I'm not opposed I'm to it. Sorry, I was just checking to see if I had the info. Okay, so we do have Clockwork in right now. Clockwork. 
on a scale of one to ten, how good is Dummy? Um. Well, believe it or not, Destro is actually playing on his computer. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. He was hit. He was hitting too many pipes. I was like, what's yeah. going on? Is it cheating? Um, does 401 damage per minute, just crushes the game. Um, did it suck having to wait that long? It seemed like you guys were a little bit uh, not warm. Cold would be the opposite of warm. Thank you, world. Uh, is that a matter of that, or uh, too late to play? I mean, you guys stay up late anyway, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it really had that much of an impact. I think maybe Tyler was probably tired, because he's like 12. But Tyler being So, yeah, 12. just on that note, Tyler, on the second half, he readied up and then left his computer and it went live mm -hmm. and while we were rolling out to mid he was just spamming ready in team chat like what he's retarded like <laughs> well he's dumb sorry not yeah, retarded. That's fine. uh he it just doesn't make sense and he kept asking like so what's going on right now guys what's going on and we're like <laughs> tyler we're rolling out to mid are you kidding me like i don't know is that what the pause that's what we have to for? deal with or was there no. a pause no you just just okay he won that mid didn't you in second half yeah, uh, yeah it was actually really lucky because they, yeah. they, I think because they started losing mids in the first half, they they played it really passive. Like I got in there and I just saw like a demo and Scott on their shed and a soldier and medic just sitting on the floor and they were just like staring at me across the map and I was like contemplating whether to back out or not. And then I realized, okay, they didn't do anything, so I'm just going to push forward. But yeah, so basically Tyler's an idiot. Okay. Uh, he's not in here, so we can keep talking about him. Oh, you, I whole... would talk more about him yeah, if he was in here, to be quite honest. <laughs> well, I can. I'm, I'm generally neutral, but yeah, you're right. Uh, okay, so we have, as you can see now, with uh, expert cameraman Truck Truck, um, we have joining us Clockwork, Dummy, who just told that hilarious story, KBK, and Try. So questions for them. We'll go for a little bit. Um, it's getting kind of late. And, uh, you know, people at bedtimes, Clockwork has to go to bed, so, uh, and Blaze is now here, so Blaze, they were making oh. fun of you, you gotta, what? you gotta, you gotta be ready when the second half starts, man. Tyler oh. just got back, he was in the server, still hitting What's ready. <laughs> ready, like, why is the third <laughs> half starting, what's going on here? Um, okay, so we'll wait for, for questions to funnel in, um, Tim, 400 damage per minute, it seemed like second half, you were just crushing, won the game with that 4k. Uh, was that one of the better games you've played in a while? Seemed like you were really, really good, I guess. You're just crushing it. Uh, I feel like I'd, I've been doing that all season, to be honest. Oh, okay, I don't know. I'm... All right, sorry. Okay, Destro. <laughs> I mean, I've, I feel like Destro has been like just tearing it up all season, so it's pretty fun to watch. We miss Destro. Get him on the mic if you want. Okay, so um, try. You're here. Stats kind of weird as far as points and frags. You did plenty of damage. Um, was it just kind of an outlier match? Because everyone else on your team at 20, you had 8. What, I just there... played really bad. Did and you? also, that just shows why running, uh, not running shotguns dangerous. Because you can't finish any kills. In that game, I couldn't finish any kills. You feel like it was worth it overall? I mean, did you notice while you were playing, like, man, I really wish I had shotgun right now? Yeah, so... I, was about to play. I was considering switching to shotgun like at halftime, but I was like, no, I'll just run with it but yeah that's like one of the few times that running gunboats has really hurt me yeah okay um this is for anyone boar thrust wants to know well he's telling me to ask you guys about changing your style a little after the first round so i'll rephrase it was there any change that was made i posited maybe you just warmed up a little bit after the long wait um is there any changes that was made we were like contemplating how to play mids for a while yeah they outplayed you guys the first like four mids like pretty yeah. badly yeah, that's pretty well, bad. Hold on. I don't know. I, I don't think we're very good at mids on Snake Water for some reason. I feel like I can't do anything. I feel like I don't know. I feel like I, somebody has to like always be initiating for me to do anything. So I kind of think a little, little helpful. I think we adjusted later. I think I feel but, like well, yeah, later. Part of it was adjusted. part of it was because they were playing really scared. So maybe they helped us a lot. But yeah, I feel like our mids later were like really easy. It seemed like Boink was just every mid just getting it in, I and mean, he varied up how he was bombing, but he was always going to bomb. And maybe in the second half, you guys were kind of baiting that first jump out, because he was going kind of by himself, killed him, and then um, ran the other, the rest of the team out. Um, let's get Blaze and the others to talk. Blaze just got made fun of for like five minutes, man. So you wanna... Yeah, they're were, they were ragging on you, man. You want to fire back? Shots fired back in that direction? Mm, I'm not that kind of guy. So. All right, he's too nice to a guy. Um, I'm not sure. Usually, my uh, my buddy Lame Effects shovels me questions to ask. So I'm sorry, guys, if I missed any. 
Um, I'm just when you curious, guys... like, you guys saw uh, the Mad Men playing earlier, 5-4, close game. Have you guys scrimmed them a lot? And uh, how do you guys do against them? And how does that look for, like, land uh, standings? We didn't really play Mad Men that much on Snakewater. Um, I don't think we really played them since, like, Snoopy was back on the team. So, I mean, that really only happened recently, but we haven't, we didn't scrim them on, uh, Snake Water, so I don't really, I'd say, like, in general, though, our our scrims are pretty split. Maybe, maybe we win more, but I don't think it's by much. Um, okay, so let's get KBK, actually, some guy asked a hilarious question that I don't remember, uh, I scrolled away from him. Sorry, man, who asked the question, I think it was... Yeah, okay, Inez67 to KBK. What does KBK stand for? Oh, we, we know that. I don't, I don't know. answer that. We don't talk about it. Are you kidding? What's that. wrong with you guys? No, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Uh, it's very embarrassing. Bad. How can it be more embarrassing well, than you have no idea. Bear? You have no Someone idea. actually said it in stream chat anyway. Hmm? No, 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 they were close. It was close. It's such a question, Jesus Christ. No, it's... Cool Boys Club, is that it? Yep. Thank you, Blaze. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> No, we can't. Yep, you got no. it. <laughs> well, this, that's the answer, unless you want to give us a better one. Okay, so basically, when I used to play Half Life 2 Deathmatch, and I was really bad at the game, I liked the crossbow. So I named myself Crossbow Kid. Yeah. With a K. That's when I was about 11. Oh, that's even worse. I thought it was Crossbow then, No, no. <laughs> it's, really close to, it's really close to K. How K-K-K, dare you? He's the kid. And then, like, three years later, I was like, oh, I hate this name, but I couldn't just, like, change it because I didn't want to change names completely, so I just abbreviated it. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Wait, um, I, can't, I can't critique anyone's name, so... I would say... I like Sue Bear. It's a good name, dude. You, should, you want to trade? Is that, yeah. Is that, is that supposed to I be, like, a Sue Bear? Like, a bear? Uh, shut up. Hey, hey, I'm not the one being no, interviewed, alright? Right, no, right, no right. I'm serious though, it's a question. Like, is that sea bear, that, like a bear in the sea that you abbreviated to the letter sea bear? Or does it have some kind of alternate meaning? I'll leave it to the creativity of everyone. Just pick a C letter word and just, Care that's bear. my name. There you Cut. go. Slyn's got it. Oh, he said no. And then the next one is a three letter <laughs> word. No. Nah. Like you in the middle. Alright, uh, there was a question for anybody. Let's get Reed, or uh, sorry, uh, Boomer. Or PPPP, as he's in here. Um, you guys play HRG next, I guess? I don't even know what the map is next week, but you play them. Uh, thoughts? Are you thinking you guys have a chance against them? It's uh, it's not no. next. It's tomorrow. It's uh, Snakewater still, by the way. But, has oh, Benny ever you lost play... a Snakewater match? Yeah. Ever, yeah. Like, in his life? Are you serious? We beat them last LAN on Snakewater. Yes, yeah, yeah, you are... Forget it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Blaze. Uh, okay, so you play them tomorrow. Wow, I didn't realize that. I feel like someone should cast that. It might be an important game. Both teams undefeated. Uh, okay, well, answer, what do you think about them heading into it? Are you confident you guys have a chance? Uh, I'm terrified of Benny. We, I, I don't know, because we, we haven't had a lot of practice, and they're, like, amazing, so. Yeah, I don't know. I, we, I feel like every time I play that team, it's I never expect to win because Benny is so fucking good at the game. And we're we're going into it like not to make excuses, but we're going into it cold because I'm gonna be home. I'm gonna be home right when the match starts, and Reed is gonna be home like a little bit before that. So like we're not gonna scrim at all. Okay, so excuses. zero chance. Don't watch the cast tomorrow. Yeah, don't bother watching awful. the game. Don't bother. I think I don't know. A lot of people think um, Alpha actually thinks that you guys are the best team in North America right now. That's the biggest lie ever. I don't know. You're just too humble, man. The You're pro like, team will never be the best team in the game. Cheers. Yeah. I saw oh, all right. I've, I've, line. I've got a question. Don't lie, Super. I, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I, whatever. Whatever. Um, rumor has it. I don't know which one of you he beat, but I, rumor has it that Tyrone came back and beat at least one of you in MGE or Amamod or something. Is that true? Can you confirm? Um, oh, that was Poundtown. Yeah, it was Poundtown, actually. That's his little brother. Right. No, but he did beat Try and me in in directs. What? One one out of one time. Like he didn't play me twice. But I feel like I he's was, never lost any I was, thing to Ty ever. That's hilarious. I that was he just... in, I was intoxicated. That's my excuse. And mm. Try didn't care. 
That was Trag's. Trag's excuse. <laughs> Dude, I, I, there has to be an excuse, because there's no way he can beat me on fair playing ground. I played I played Tyrone, like, I don't even know how many times in Alamod MG, and I don't think I ever lost a single time. Yeah, you like 20, 20 yeah, ever. Like, I don't think I'd ever lost. Can so you guys something, see this something was awry, dude. <laughs> KBK, I'm sorry that I asked the question. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's fine. People knew already. It was kind of public knowledge. It's gonna be a I think. Down. I think Kaidas said it once in like a cast. Alright, well, then. Thanks, Kairos. I like the face, face, face. Cool boys club. Nice addition there. <laughs> um, What is the next map next week? Gravel Pit. Oh, God, really? that map. We're oh gonna lose those God. Two. Damn. That is like the most dishonorable it's map in the game, so we're going to lose. But whoever we're playing, we're losing both those matches. Yeah, who do you play? Do you know? Mix Up is one of them. Our oh, really? Five, oh, Damn, that'd be a good game. Five, I guess. Like, it's such a bad map. Do you notice that every single time somebody has the option to pick that map to play it in land, nobody picks it because it's bad? And yet we voted in every single time. Yeah, no, people have picked Viaduct a lot. People have picked every CP map. No one's ever picked that. Well, I guess it is a CP map, but no, no one's ever picked a like three points stopwatch map ever. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to see any of these games, so that sucks. I I love Gravel Pit. Um, good luck versus Mixup. All right, so Chad is devolved and is like continuing to Chad. slowly become like Siglemic Chat. So we'll probably need to stop before Twitch just explodes. I think I, we need new mods, so I'm gonna I'm gonna Yo, say KBK deserves. Mod, it. You have yeah. to stretch mod out, me, register a new Twitch name as that whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's just cruel, man. That, no, <laughs> that's the deal, man. Take it or leave it. All right. Um, all right. So, any other questions, um, Slin Alpha? I'm missing Gravel Pit Week too, so I'm stoked on that. Like, who the hell is gonna cast these games, like? That map uh, is for you guys, and you guys aren't even going to show up. Like, that map is only sorry, for the Tim. spectators. How dare you put us through that map? Yeah, blame us. It's our fault. Uh, yeah, because we're the ones voting on the maps, so not yep. you guys. You are. I'm getting... Damn. Okay. Um, Alright, so let's do shoutouts then. I think that's good. Chad is just... It's the best. I love you guys. Not Okay, uh, we'll start with Blaze. Shoutouts for you. Shoutout to Jen and Timothy. Oh, God. Aww. Really? Really, dude? Yes. Aww. Yes. And Rando, I guess. I mean, if you're expecting a shout-out, wow. you're not gonna get it, so... Just letting you know. Uh, Clockwork's next. Sorry, Tim. Go ahead, Clock. <laughs> uh, shout-out to... Uh, Wazzy, uh, Waz, and Chad. Have some. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tim? Shout out to Chad. He's like the best backup I've ever had. He should be he should be a starter for like pretty much any invite team. He's amazing. And he should have sex. <laughs> uh Crossbow Kid. Um all my fans in chat and all the people <laughs> I play Dota with and my team and Vector Gaming. Shout out to Klanana. Oh damn. Sorry, shit. And <laughs> pull a na 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 na. Oh god. Uh okay. Uh Boomer. Uh shout out to Chad. You're bad. For you? Yeah, Chad's good enough. Easy enough. Drop. Drop Uh shout out to anyone who watches my stream. That's to me. Love you guys. <laughs> Love you too, man. <laughs> Alright, um, Alpha, thanks for doing the all full night of fun TF2 action duty thing. Um, shout outs for you? Uh, shout out to Cadis and Memphis. Fun. Yeah, I agree. Memphis Fun's awesome. Okay, um, I want to make sure I thank before everyone leaves Truck Truck, because that's. Like I didn't want to, I didn't want to cast three games in a row, much less do the camera work. That shit's hard. I've been trying to do it my on my um, stream and YouTube. Um, it's tough to do both, and especially the camera work. So I have even more respect for Truck Truck, who's awesome and has to deal with you crazy nerds who spam chat. Um, actually, I think you might be the first one to spam it. So I don't know, maybe it's one of you nerds. Uh, Slynn, enjoy your vacation, man. I guess I'll talk to you in like a week and a half or something. Yeah. See ya. Um, for everybody else, we'll be back, I think, tomorrow. I, I kind of actually sickly want to cast this game, so I think we probably will at some incarnation of two or plus people casting TF2. Dude, don't but bother. Until then, 
the epic game showdown two undefeated teams. Until tomorrow, have a good night. We'll see you.